So number one, how to even know what you want. Um, this is a really hard thing to do. It's a, like, you know, you have to kind of self-reflect um, and think of what, you know, there, I boil it down to like three different things that you can, the three different steps to, to and exercises to do to, to figure out what you want to do. So number one, let's identify your skills. What are some things that you excel at? Um, you know, what are you really good at when it comes to um, like administrative tasks and um, logistical things, industry knowledge or business? Um, I have an example here, you know, and I'm gonna use this example um, kind of based on my experience um, just so I can speak to it, but this can be anything. So for me, I'm really organized and I know a lot about opera. So those are two skills that I know that I have. Um, so when you think about that, I can work at an opera company. I could do anything to organize things in opera because I know a lot about opera. So I could work in the artistic department. I could work in the development department and fundraising. I could, I could go down the marketing route. Um, there's stuff to organize there. And I, I could work in the production department, the finance department, if I really like numbers, um, or even the education department. So those two skills are really versatile. Um, so I, you know, based on those two skills, I could do a lot at an opera company, but we have to further refine that because we have interests beyond just being organized. So number two, let's think about your passions. What are, what are you passionate about? You know, within the skills that you've already identified, what is the specific area that most interests you? So to take that first set, the skills, I'm really organized and I know a lot about opera, but I'm really passionate about the behind the scenes work, you know, planning out the shows on the stage, thinking about the opera in a more artistic form um, and not really like, you know, about the administrative marketing numbers finance side. Okay, so we have the skills, we have kind of thought about what I'm most passionate about in opera and how can, and how can I be organized, know a lot about opera and what, is there a position for me where I could take those skills and work on behind the scenes, you know, stuff. So let's take that initial list and let's start paring it down. I'm not gonna work in fundraising if I wanna work behind the scenes. Um, I'm not gonna work in marketing. I'm not gonna work in finance. The, all those stuff can go away, but what I can, you know, what I, what I can um, figure out is that maybe I wanna work in an artistic department and work on contracting artists, or um, maybe I wanna work in the production department and organize the, um, you know, all of the sets and costumes that go up on the stage. Or maybe I even wanna work in the education department um, you know, there's an aspect of behind the scenes work that goes into education outreach. So there is some, we've pared this down a little bit more. To take that even a step further, the last thing that you can, an exercise you can do is what, oh sorry, <laughs> lean on mentors, teachers, and colleagues. So this is a really important one and something that you can um, really uh, utilize to help figure out what you want. Trust and lean on the people in your life that know you, that are invested in you, and who have some sort of industry knowledge. So example, I'm torn between finding an internship in artistic production or not development, education. I'm going to schedule a meeting with Drew to get his insight as to what he knows as my strong suits and talk through the different aspects of these departments. So you may not even really know the difference between artistic and production, or you may not know, like, you know, maybe Drew has seen something in you that you haven't, that he can say, you know what, actually, Natalia, you actually, there's this, there's something about you that, you know, I think you would be really good at production as opposed to artistic, you know? So leaning on teachers, um, if you have a mentor in life, um, you know, maybe that's another professor, maybe that is a high school teacher, um, you know, talking it through with them, um, that's a resource that you really should 
utilize because, you know, you know yourself the best, but there are also some things that you may not know about yourself that other people can help, um, help you figure out. So another way to further refine it is just do your research. So you can talk to, you can talk to mentors, colleagues, and friends, but really the best way to find out about a certain area is to do your research. So go on, um, you know, if you are wanting to work at Houston Grand Opera um, and you just don't really know like what kind of, where you wanna work in there, what department, look on their website, see what kind of work they're doing. Um, see what their, what their stage and, and sets look like. If you really are passionate about that, maybe you do wanna work in the production department and contribute your work to, uh, to contribute your skills to getting that up on the stage. Um, you know, look up their staff and see what, see what kind of staffing they have. If there's a position on their staff roster that you're like, yes, I want that. You know, it's really simple to do your research. Um, and just imagine yourself contributing similar work. Um, just kind of put yourself in that person's shoes. So um, just doing your due diligence and looking up um, different companies and kind of snooping around, um, that is a really good way to just see what kind of stuff you're interested in. Um, most of these companies have great websites and um, you know are really informative and talk about what kind of work they're doing and their mission statement and blah, blah, blah. So I would highly encourage you to do that. So reflection. So what are two to three skills you excel at? What are one to two passions you have in the industry? And you don't have to, like, this doesn't have to be 100% accurate right now. I, this is just a brain exercise. And who in your life can you lean on to ask for insight and advice when it comes to your skills and passion? 